As we get you going through middle of the week, we're going to notice some big changes. Let's show you what we've got going on right now. Showers and thunderstorms have rain cooled you in a few spots from Greensboro, High Point, Jamestown area. Your temperatures came out of those mid and upper 80s and down into the upper 70s, and some folks may hold on to that for a few hours. We've got showers and thunderstorms that produce flash flooding, still producing flash flooding for folks to the east in Virginia through Roanoke Rapids area. If you're traveling at all the next couple of days, make sure you have your emergency alerts turned on your phone because that will alert you no matter where you're traveling to the flash flooding concerns or isolated severe storms. For us, our severe storm risk is low. It's just the heavy rain threat has remained and will remain again tomorrow in the mountains. You've got Ferrum out through Martinsville dealing with some showers and thunderstorms to put the loop on for you. And you can see most of these are all moving to the east to northeast. And so we'll see that trend with anything that's forming tonight. We had a couple out over Wilkes County starting to fizzle though right now. We have a trough that is the center of where our focus of thunderstorm activity continues this evening just out of the triad. 76 right now Greensboro 83 in Reedsville area. So you've come up a few degrees in the last hour with 83 degrees in Winston Salem. Our high temperatures today reached well into the upper 80s, but not quite 90. And look at those rainfall totals an inch and a half a little bit over that 17 hundredths of an inch though in Ashboro. And of course those heavier pockets just to the west of where those airport readings were today where we had three to four inches estimated on rainfall inch and a half puts us above two 2.21 inches for the month. So not bad, right? Usually we have been below normal when it comes to the rainfall within the last couple of weeks. Nice to see that trend start to change for folks in the eastern tribe. You're at 90 in Burlington, 87 in Greensboro and typically 89. So hottest part of the summer. We're in it and we have another week at least to see more hot temperatures to steamy conditions well above normal highs likely through middle of the week. You've got the hour by hour forecast popping up some thunderstorms for you this evening from areas in Mount Airy. We might see a couple trying to get going overnight. Some patchy fog, of course, with those upper 60s, low 70s. So it's really comfortable to start your morning, if not warm. And then we see temperatures in the 90s for you to upper 80s in the foothills and triad. Your temperatures in the mountains in the upper 70s. We are expecting those showers and storms right around 1, 2 o'clock to get going. Should keep temperatures down in most spots there and possibly keeping you cooler in the foothills late tomorrow. Most of the storm chances are west of the triad. Our rain chances are pretty low as we head east. Let's take a look at your 12-hour forecast. Rain chances, we might see a sneaky shower out there overnight, but most of us are just going to deal with a little fog. Highs at 89 degrees and also in the foothills. You see 67 degrees warming to about 85 and then thunderstorms blowing off from some of those mountain storms and some clouds could keep temperatures down, but I've still got you in the upper 80s in most spots in the eastern foothills. So Yakinville folks there all the way up into Stokes County. You might see those temperatures, of course, too, in the upper 80s with 60 degrees in the mountains into the mid and upper 70s with rain chances that climb through the afternoon hours. So your dew point forecast. Well, going through the week, we've got muggy conditions still persisting tomorrow. It's steamier on Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday, we're talking about those miserable dew points. We set you up in the low 70s. We have those heat alerts to excessive heat warnings for folks in northern Texas. We may be dealing with some of those heat advisories too. Not quite 111, but look at that heat that's set up right there to our west, those 90s. And we've got a stretch of 90s coming your way, not to mention a slight chance to see slightly above normal rain possibilities and that extends all the way through July 30th. All right, let's take a look at your seven day forecast. We've got shower and storm chances for you tomorrow. As we mentioned, limited east of the mountains, better storm chances, especially late afternoon and evening. And then our storm chances off and on through middle of the week with steamy conditions and hot highs in the 90s through the weekend.